Hi, everyone. Coach Sullivan here again with MJS Coaching Football. I'd like to thank my subscribers and those who haven't yet. I really hope you do. Uh, I just finished my 38th year coaching football as a defensive coordinator. But over that span, I've been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, longtime head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. What I'd like to talk to you about today is one of our Greyhound family blitzes that we call Dingbat. Okay, so Dingbat Trio is a Greyhound blitz, so not subscribers have to push the button. I'm going to show it to you versus both 11 and 10 personnel out of our base. Again, non-subscribers. Push the button. Doesn't cost anything. Okay. <clears throat> and I'd also like to add that it's good versus any and all personnel groupings. I mean, it's a spe it was created. Uh, we created it because of the increasing number of teams that are making zone read, RPO, power read, like the base part of their run game or a big part of it at least. But we've utilized it also versus, you know, two-back power, ISO, because of the pressure it brings off of one side. Okay, so it's a it's a really good against counter schemes, gap scheme, I mean, you name it, zone. It's good versus all schemes, but it was created specifically for, again, zone read, RPO, power read. And what I'm going to show you today are two scenarios. So blitzing. Uh, from the side the power read is going to and blitzing from the side the power read is running away from. Okay. So over here I got the key terms and I'm going to include so the versatility of this system. Okay. Is the last thing I'm going to talk about and then I'm going to bring it to life. But I'm only going to diagram what the quarterback and the uh, halfback do on the power read. Okay. And I'm going to teach, also teach you how we teach our players to recognize you know, and or eliminate plays based upon where the back is, okay? So first key term is dingbat itself, the name, right? So the D signifies it's an outside linebacker is executing the dog. The first letter is the dog defender. Okay, so D is the dime specifically, and B is the backer specifically. But the way we teach it to our plays is it's dime or outside linebacker equals the dog, and backer or inside linebacker equals the go. Hence, the second letter is I. So it's very versatile just in the naming in and of itself. Okay, so when I get down to the last part, the versatility starts with the name. Okay. So the dog defender, in this case, it's the dime first. That's how we've, when we, we teach it when we first install, and then we teach the, the versatility, or it's outside linebacker, which would be the rover. As force, run two, right? So remember, this is good versus all schemes. Therefore, if, you have, if you're blitzing and you have force, you have boot on run away. You have quarterback on the zone read. You have the outside portion of the power read if it's coming to you. You have the near threat of the power read if it's going away from you. So I'm going to show you those scenarios in a minute. Okay. And versus pass, you have the outside cage as the dog blitzer. And you peel running back flaring to you. So non-subscribers, push the button. Okay. I mean, I'm just trying to tease you into it because it doesn't cost anything. And you'd have access to all these terms. Okay, and I'm not going to mention that again until I get to the end. Okay? So now the go defender, who in Dingbat is the backer, as I said, or inside linebacker. Again, the versatility is built into the naming. All right? Same thing. It's good versus all schemes. So you spill the run to you. You bend and chase the run away. You have dive when it's zone read. You have the inside portion of it, which is the quarterback. When the power read's coming to you, you have the fire threat when the power read's going away from you. And again, you'll see that. Okay? In the pass, in this order, screen, no screen, then draw, no screen or draw, then quarterback. Okay? The stick, number four, is automatic. So it's not a tag, it's automatic. So the DN call side sticks A, which means nose is A away. Every Greyhound blitz, that's it. Boom, done. 
Okay. So now here's the versatility. Huge. Huge. Okay. <clears throat> we don't have 18 million different Greyhound blitzes. It would just get confusing. So the versatility, so you can game plan or the big, big thing here, have game adjustments. All right. You don't have a lot of time in the V. And at the high school level, you don't even have a V in all likelihood, unless you're very, very lucky and you're able to two platoon and then you have enough coaches on staff so you can have a V. Right. But even in college, sometimes I know sooner get in the V, boom. Right. Sudden change. You're back out there again. Or it's a three and out. Kids have hurt. Got to get equipment fixed. They don't even get to the V. Right. So <laughs> you got to make this as easy as you can. So the versatility so is for both game planning and the bigger aspect of it, making game adjustments, sometimes from series to series. OK, the way we start off, ding bad is diamond backer. So they execute it no matter what. And we incorporate this into our game plans and or game adjustments. Sometimes you got to wait till halftime. Sometimes the versatility is it's the dime or it's the inside linebacker. So it might be the dime and the mic. That's okay. Right? If we get a three by one situation, <clears throat> so the dime and the mic are on the same side, no big deal. Okay? Depends on the game plan and the tendencies. That's where we as coaches come in. And we're not creating a whole new blitz. Okay. Sometimes it's either outside linebacker or an either inside linebacker executed. Right? Because we might call dingbat, but the kids know, hey, it's going to be on the side of the halfback. And if it's both the rover and the mic, if it's the rover and the backer and vice versa, that's okay. Just call it to the back. You see what I mean about the versatility? The bottom line is the players learn the rules, the dog and go. Players learn that, and then they can execute. They just do what you tell them. All right, and that's the foundation here for Dingbat. All righty. Not subscribers. So now what I want to do, up top here I have it versus 11 personnel. The bottom is versus 10, both middle of the field. Just simplicity. Up top, it's called a gun Dallas away, which means the halfback is offset away from the tight end. That's how we do it. I can do it a million different ways, but in our uh, film tag column, away, you got to teach the plays. This means the halfback is offset away from the tight end. So, yeah, that's that's an east still. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's away from the tight You follow what I'm trying to say? So teams have tendencies when the back's away from the tight end versus to it. Down here, 10 personnel. Okay, middle of the field. It's gun Detroit East because there is no tight end. Middle of the field, right? So now we call dingbat, and this is going to be a scenario. This is why I have it underlined where it's going to be diamond backer no matter what. Okay, this is the one I'm going to show you now because it's going to give you. <clears throat> the blitz coming from the side of the back, the blitz coming opposite the back. All right, so you're going to get the two scenarios versus power read. Power read's coming to them, power read's going away from them. Okay, so up here, as you see, one of the first things that we have to do as you install this is you teach your players how to know what plays are coming and which plays to cross off, right? Backs offset here, the power reads on this side, the zone reads on this side. You got to teach players that. Don't assume they know. Same thing, power reads away, zone reads too. So I'm not including Mac motion here. That's not a part of the equation. Okay, so I'm really talking to the subscribers now. That's a whole different issue, right? Email me, we'll set up a Zoom call. Okay, so <clears throat> first up here, it's dime back and no matter what. 
So it's Ringo on this side, which means Roger. Lucky on with this one, which means Louie. So if not subscribers are wondering why the alignment the way it is. Okay. So <clears throat> Ringo Roger. Let's start off with. Oops, sorry. There we go. All even techniques across the front. So let's start off with the defensive line. Stick, automatic, right? Ball snap. Call side defensive end. Stick A, nose A away. There it is. Right? Pre-snap on whatever the snap indicator is. Edge to the edge. Ball snapped. <clears throat> There's the go, right? Inside linebacker is the go in this case. Remember? Down here. Backer, inside linebacker is the go. Okay. Dime, D, is the dog. So on the snap of the football, attacking the nearest tip, right? So if it were a zone read, and the quarterback kept it, he's got quarterback, he's bending for dive. See how that works? But if it's the power read, right? So this is power reads going away. So the dog has near threat away. The go has far threat away. So the far threat is there. The near threat is the quarterback. So obviously, I shouldn't say obviously. That'd be me, my, me making an assumption. As the goal is bending and chasing the far threat, if the quarterback crosses his face, he's gonna whack him. He's not gonna bypass him. You know, we've got other guys over here who can make the play as well. They're playing football. Okay, but if the quarterback doesn't cross his face, the goal keeps on bending to get the far threat. And the dog takes the near threat with the quarterback. See how that is? And the only time I'm going to show you what the safeties do on the snap, what's meant by Roger, non-subscribers, he's rotating down, he's rotating middle. Safety spin. Because this is trio. Okay? So there is a greyhound dingbat. Okay, dime, dog, back or go with the power read going away from them. Now, remember we said the Diamondback are executing no matter what. All right? So now they're on the left, middle of the field. It's Lucky with a Louie. So snap of the ball, call side. There's the stick. Edge to the edge before the snap. There's the go. And there's the dog. So now we'll show you the power read first, right? So here it comes. Right? Okay. <clears throat> Outside when the power read's coming to them. And the only way that can happen is if you're executing the blitz opposite the back. See what I mean? Down here, take the inside when it's to them. Which means, again, we're blitzing opposite the back, so the inside now is the quarterback. Oh, and the likelihood is that the quarterback who's supposed to be reading here is going to see that, so he's going to give it to the back, who's going to get a face full of the dog blitzer. Boom! Because the dog has force. Ah! So that's why, as coaches, you got to do your film study. It might be in a particular game. In 10 personnel, they run more power read, so you want to execute the blitz away from the back. Okay? And here, when they have, <coughs> excuse me, halfback away in 11 personnel, they might be, Zone read or power read, so you want to execute, in this case, if it's 2x2 two two Dallas, always dingbat. That's what's meant by versatility. 
going into a game, you can game plan based upon personnel tendencies, half back away, half back two, et cetera. That's built in starting with how we name the blitz. All right, I, all right, I don't mind doing it. Lucky Louie, safety spin, cover it up. Okay, so the last thing here, just showing you this, if all of a sudden a team kind of picks up on it, hence game adjust, so they start running instead of this, they run zone read on this side, right? Because the zone read here, power read there. Well, now your go is still in a position to help take the dive, still, even from away. He's static, and he's here are your two quarterback defenders, so we're still good by playing our base rules. Okay, so it's not like we're bare ass over here because we blitzed opposite. He's always a static defender on the side of the back, okay, and he's an outside quarterback defender as well. I didn't put static here because he's part of the Greyhound. See what I mean? He's not a part of the gray, Greyhound. He's static. Side of the halfback. That's an automatic rule. That was a freebie, non-subscribers. So I hope you, I tempted non-subscribers, push the button. It's free. You got nothing to lose, right? But again, thank you to the subscribers and to everyone. Please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. Any questions about the versatility of this, adjustments, whatever it might be, Otherwise, <clears throat> excuse me, we're not taking full advantage of this format. Okay, it's starting to happen more when it does. I'm learning football as well, which is great. I know I'm helping people on the other side of the screen, and that's why we're doing this, trying to help each other out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the dingbat presentation.